yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win. What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. If you guys do like my videos and you want me to make more Final Cut Pro 10 videos, please leave a like, comment down below what video ideas you guys want me to make, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on a video like this one. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do or how to get the uh, glow animation effect. So if you guys head on over to cinepacks.store, I will leave a link down in the description of this video. If you go down, we can go on to the free effects. So we're gonna go down to the free packs. And then all of these are the really cool uh, collections of free packs that you guys can use. So what we're gonna do is uh, in order to download this for free, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the first one, which is the glow effects, uh, the sample pack. I'm gonna add this to the cart. And then I'm gonna go back to the uh, free packs, uh, the link there. I'm gonna click back on the glow effects too. Like I said, link is gonna be in the description for the. So I'm gonna click add to cart. And then you're gonna have two in the cart. You can add as many as you want. So you don't have to go uh, or keep going back and forth. So uh, it is $0. I'm gonna click on proceed to checkout. And then it's gonna take you to a new link here. So we're gonna input our email. So I'm gonna type in my email really quickly. Um, and just do something like this. And then the cool thing about this is that for the billing address, you can literally type whatever you want. It's, it's, you it literally doesn't matter. 4092, continue. Okay, so when you click continue, uh, it's gonna give you the billing. It doesn't really matter there. It's just your email that matters. And you're gonna click on pay now. And then um, it will say preparing your downloads. So you can also download it from this page. It took like less than 20 seconds. So now we have the GlowFX2 free sample pack, the GlowFX free sample pack. Uh, and for some reason, I guess there's two in there. Maybe I added, oh, I added two in the cart. That's okay. So you can just click download and then download, and this will download it as a zip file, and then you can unzip it, and then you can drag all of those folders or the files into Final Cut Pro. In Final Cut Pro, what you want to do to actually add the effects is go into File, Import Media, or Command I for the shortcut. Here we have a $5 off coupon. So if you guys want $5 off for the full uh, version, which contains a bunch of effects, um, then you can do that. I'll also leave this down in the description so you guys save five bucks on the full pack, which I will show you right after the free uh, effects. So the first one we have is the curve one. It's a .mov, which is a video file. Uh, and then we have demon face. We have electricity short. We have sparks small. So we have four of these. So all you gotta do to add them into your uh, library is select all of them and click on import selected. So go ahead and import them and they will be in your um, project or media file here. So once you have your timeline set on all ready to go, I'm gonna go into the curve one and I want to add this to maybe around here. So he's kind of like in a straight uh, stance. So I'm gonna drag this right above there, maybe here. And then right now it's black, you can't see anything. So we're gonna go into the inspector window. We're gonna go into blend mode and change it from normal to screen or you can do lighten. So now if I go back and I push play, you can see what it looks like and you don't need any keyframes. You don't need to actually draw this frame by frame. It's all done automatically for you, which is the best part of this pack. Uh, since, since an animator went in and did this all for you um, and it just looks really good. So we're going to do something like that. And then maybe up here <laughs> we can do like a little spark. So I'm going to drag this right above it there. I'm also going to change the blend mode to screen. So now if I go back and I push play, you have something like this. I'm gonna drag this one right over here and I'm gonna change this to screen as well. So now he kind of goes back like that. And then for the demon face here, so I'm gonna drag this right above on that video, change the blend mode, and then change the scale as well. So I'm gonna change it and make it smaller. I'm gonna drag it up and I'm going to change the rotation. I might wanna make it smaller a little bit as well. Then I'm going to add a keyframe just to kind of track his face a little bit. So I'm going to go over here on the left. You're going to see a little plus icon. Click that button to add a keyframe and using the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard, just go frame by frame. You don't have to go every single frame, but you can if you want. And then just start dragging it to have it aligned to his face. And it's okay if you can scale this down as well. I didn't add, um, 
the keyframe there, so it's not gonna scale with it, but you can add one there if you really wanted to. So I'm gonna do something like that. Sweet, so now if I go back and I push play, it goes something like this. And of course you can do a better job than what I did. So now once we've gone through those free, uh, those four free sample uh, effects, I'm gonna show you the full pack. So it's really simple. Um, I'm gonna go into Command I and I'm gonna go back to that folder, which is the Cinepax Glow Effects 2.1. The cool thing about this pack is the, the paid pack comes with free updates to the pack. So if we click on the updates folder and we click on 2.1, you're gonna have a bunch of extra effects. So you have 22 items. So if I go down, you can see we have angel wings, we have birds, we have bubble overlay, we have bubble, buzzsaw, cigarette, demon wings, drip. So we also have um, here are the accents. So this one's the chaotic curves. So these are just quick little um, short accents, I guess, um, kind of like quick bursts uh, to spice up your video a little bit and there is 27 of these. So there's a lot of good ones that you can choose from and you can really get creative with these. So the next one's explosions. These are different ones here. You can also change the color and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And then we have the impacts. So these are impacts, so you can add them like to the ground or something if somebody is dancing or whatever you wanna, whatever your heart desires, you can do uh, whatever you want. So the next one's gonna be objects. This one is, there's 26 in this one. So we have the bat loop, we have bat transition, so you can use this as a transition in between clips or pictures too, if you really want. Uh, on your own time, uh, we have sketchy skeleton. So if you're trying to go for that x-ray kind of vibe, then this is the folder or the pack for you as well. Uh, and it's really, really cool. So you can get really creative with this one. The next one's gonna be the transitions. So we have a couple here. We have the energy curve, light beams, uh, light speed, light swirl and speed lines. The cool thing about this is that you don't even have to animate any of this. It's all done for you. You just have to drag and drop it onto your timeline. And then we have wraps. There's 15 of these. They just wrap around your object. So what I'm gonna do to start it off is I'm going to add this one because why not? It's the first one. And I'm gonna change this uh, the bun mode to screen. And then we can change the position of this. So we can move it like over here. We can change the scale and we can also rotate this. Something like that. Push play, looks like this. Drag this right above there. Change this to screen and we're done. So now we just have to play around with the scale of this one. So I'm gonna change the scale and the position. Perfect, so now if I push play, it looks like that. And like I said, you don't even have to animate that. You just have to place it where you think it would look best and it looks really cool. So from here, he kind of goes, kind of swings his arms. Let's see what else they have. We have ring, that one's kind of cool. I think the ring one would be kind of dope. Let's drag that one into the timeline. So we're gonna do something like this, change it to screen. He starts it like here. Oh, there we go. All right, so now if I go back and I push play, we have something that looks like this. And like I said, you don't even have to animate that, which is the best part. You just have to play around with the the, uh, the sizing of it and then the just change the blend mode. He kind of throws his arms up, so we can do a little bit like um, something that is kind of quick, that kind of zooms up a little bit. And then I'm also gonna change the blend mode to screen. We might have to rotate this like that and then maybe change the position. Yeah, something like that. So we're gonna have to rotate rotate this a little bit more. Maybe change the scale. Sweet, so now I'll click done and go back and push play. It's really quick, it works. Um, sometimes you might have to play around with these. I'm gonna make the scale a little bit bigger. There we go. And then I think for his leg, we might want to do something with his leg. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with the, I think this one's really cool, with the hoop ring climb. So I'm going to drag that right above, change the blend mode to screen. Ooh, there we go. That, that That's actually perfect. So I'm going to cut it, trim it to fit the edge there or the ending of that clip. Here we go, dollar signs two, press enter, dollar sign two. So I'm going to drag that right above. And I'm gonna change the blend mode to screen. And I'm going to change the position of this one, maybe rotate it a little bit, click done. Go back, push play. Looks like that. Oh, and to change the color before you guys leave, um, let's say we wanna change the color of the dollar signs. Select your clip and go to the color corrections tab. 
Then what you want to do is go to hue and saturation curves and go to the hue versus hue and just change this to your liking. So you can do like, I don't know, blue and then you can do green. Uh, however, for the money sign, I think green is, is great. Maybe we want to change the demon face. We can just go into the hue and saturation curves and adjust this one. So I might want to do like purple and then you can adjust the saturation of this. I'm gonna might, might want to make it increase it a little bit and then the lumas for like the brightness. I'm going to leave that how it is. And you can adjust literally everything within this uh, tab here. But that's how to change the color to whatever you want. Uh, maybe you don't want yellow for the sparks. No problem. Go to hue and saturation. Change the color. I'm going to do like green. I'm going to increase the saturation. So we'll go back push play. It looks like that. And then maybe instead of yellow. So I'm going to change this to like blue or pink or something. Ooh, that looks really, 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 really cool. And I'm going to change the saturation of this. Make it really glow. And do something like that. So now if I go back into push play, you have something like that. And it looks really, really cool, guys. So please leave a like if you guys really like this tutorial. If you guys want to check out the pack, then be sure to go to Glow Effects 2. The page is going to be down in the description below so you guys can easily have access to it. So this is going to be the page, Glow Effects 2, to scroll down to see all the information. There's over 120 assets, plus free future updates to the pack. You guys will absolutely love the pack. And uh, if you guys want me to make more videos, leave your ideas down below. And uh, I'll catch you guys on my next video. So until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.